Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, uh, let's take a look again in the euro currency, it's just a moment where uh, euro is showing the active activity, so I just, uh, when I opened the chart today, I, I just would like to say that euro has some problems with the upward action, and just I would like to say that, as euro is starting to show the upward breakout, so on the daily chart, as you can see, our yesterday's suggestion about it's probably retracement is over and market has more chance to continue move higher, it starts to work and it seems that we were correct and currently market is moving higher and so on the daily chart it's one important thing that you can see uh, euro is uh, extending the double harmonic swing of this minor action so this double harmonic swing usually could lead to further upward action and mostly this swing also could be doubled in this case we could see the market around 1845-1850 area so that mostly corresponds to idea of uh, engulfing pressure. So yesterday we have talked a lot about it, that engulfing usually has the target of the length of the bars. So you could use some kind of the ABC action on intraday charts. You will see it uh, a bit later in this video. So and you could estimate the target. So um, nothing more on the daily chart probably. So market our brand by the trade uh, or look like trade mostly has been done so market hasn't quite reached the target on this drop on Friday but sometimes this happens so after this retrace market right now is standing higher let's see what we have on intraday charts on the four hour time frame chart we are mostly watching for this uh, shape of the handles and shoulders uh, and today is in a forum you could read the mm, our forum member stock he's uh, uh, expert on the Elliott wave analysis uh, has got them uh, shown the very clear uh, analysis for the short term perspective in the euro currency and mostly corresponds what I think. So uh, he also points on these lows as important uh, for the further upward continuation and indeed uh, market should stand inside of this consolidation. This uh, from the classical point of view, classical technical analysis, this is the consolidation of the arms of the hand shoulder. So you can see this left arm head right arm this consolidation uh, by the price action this market right now stands in an extension kind of an extension because a b leg is completed the first extension leg is now bc retracement uh, now market stands in extension again so op target is 118.30 that will be the minimum target of the hand shoulders potentially it also could reach 119 and we think that probably could happen because you remember what we are waiting for on the day on the weekly chart our medium term target within a few weeks is the 120 121 area it's now it's just the beginning of the journey in the short term perspective uh, the daily chart and the follow time from chart this target will be OP it's 118.30 now as you can see market is struggling with uh, resistance this is the major 50% resistance, you know that your currency likes the 50% levels most of all. And take a look that market has completed also minor target of this ABC page and COP. It's contracted objective point at the COP. And uh, it's also it's conceivable build resistance one. So uh, here maybe some minor reaction could follow, but based on the market mechanics that I see right now, it seems that the upward action should be continued. So um, here's what we could get on the hourly chart, why I think that it's mostly bullish. Uh, yesterday I already have talked about the reaction on the um, non-farm pearls release and uh, comparing the numbers that we've got and the reaction, it seems the reaction was too small. And it seems that the real purchase stands beyond the euro currency uh, because any retracement is buyout. Because take a look, this numbers were was very good and market it's all that your control is just a minor spike here and return at the cup 
So this is definitely shows the strength. Now, when the OP target has been reached, here, take a look, market has formed, that was the point where we have talked about yesterday, and market has formed just ABCD retracement have, has formed, nicely looking triple to buy patterns, bullish continuations, now market is continuing. Uh, next destination point is XOP 118.16 and it co corresponds, coincides with the OP here 118.29, just 10 pip pips difference, so very close. So will be next destination point. What we should uh, to keep an eye on here? Uh, we should calculate the extension and contraction stages of this action. Uh, why we need this? Because that will let you understand if something will go wrong. For example, so here's extension onto the OP target. That was the contraction. It means that contraction is over. So retracement has, has happened. Reaction on the OP, reaction on the resistance has, has, has been done here. It means that this leg, this should be acceleration. You already see the signs. So here you can see this fast candles to the upside. It's kind of the acceleration here is coming. Uh, and if market somehow stop here and starts dropping, this will be not quite natural behavior because major retracement already has been done here. It's already completed. Here market should continue move higher. And any reversal here and dropping back to the 1650 will be the signs of weakness. It, it will tell you that something is goes, goes wrong and uh, some it, it doesn't correspond to the normal market behavior when it stands in the bullish trend. So if you have taken position, uh, long position yesterday, now you could move your stops to the break even or even below these lows. This will be enough uh, to protect your position. So and just watch what will happen. So any reversal here, any drop back to the 1650 and breakout, especially the breakout of this consolidation that I have mentioned yesterday. Uh, should worry you. So this will be negative sign for the bullish perspective and could lead to the further drop back to some deeper retracement. So this uh, will erase the potential head and shoulders patient that we have on the uh, for our time frame chart. This will be not a good sign. But right now, as you can see, everything stands as it should be. So I do not see something really bad, mm, some problems. Everything stands very good. So reasonable retracement, traction on the OP, upper continuation, completion of the COP, target of larger ABCD here, minor retracement already has been done. So you can see with this candle, this retracement has happened. Now market is turning back again to the upper direction. Uh, the breakout up, this will be very good confirmation sign that upper action is continuing. And when the breakout will happen, that will let Euro to uh, go in a relatively free space. So here the major resistance will be broken and till this target, it's also probably will be the 618 resistance, 1830. So it'll be relatively free space and your should pass it relatively easy. So that's what we see right now in your currency. So situation right now stands positive. Uh, I do not see any problems with the, for, for the bulls in the current price action. Everything goes as it should. If you have taken long position yesterday, move your stop to the break even and just watch the movie. What will happen? Uh, reversal here and drop below the 1650. So will be negative sign and could really put under question the whole scenario with this hand shoulders patient that we have.